Elden Ring Shadow of Earth Tree broke the seamless co-op mod, but now it's been updated as of a few minutes ago, and in this quick guide, I'll show you how to install it and the brand new updated method to play with your friends. Okay, so heading across to the first link down below, Seamless Co-op on Nexus Mods, we'll head across to the Files tab over here, we'll scroll down, and we should be able to download the latest version of Seamless Co-op here by choosing Manual Download. Then we'll go ahead and open up the zip when it's done downloading. Inside of here, you should see two or three files. We'll need to navigate across to our game folder and drop them in there in order to install it. So from Steam, right-click Elden Ring, Manage, and choose Browse Local Files. Then open up the game folder, and inside of here, we'll be dropping those files. So from the zip, dragging everything out into here and clicking Yes if it tells you it's replacing any files. Once it's done, you've now installed the mod. If you downloaded the mod super early, you may have a folder that looks like this with three files instead of this with just two files. If you have this settings.ini file next to the launcher, you'll need to move it into the seamless co-op folder in order to prevent any errors. This was updated in a later version here, which is probably the one you're downloading. There we go. Now that we're done with this, we need to do one more thing. Open up the seamless co-op folder and the ERSC settings.ini file. This can be done with any text editor. Inside of here, you'll find a bunch of different options like allowing invaders, changing summon options, scaling, etc. But scroll all the way down to the bottom and find the co-op password. Type in a secure password here that nobody can guess, save this file, and now you're done. What your friends need to do, who will play with you, need to do the same exact thing. Install the mod, open up the settings file, and set the same exact password here as well. Once they've done all of that, the same way that you have, you can head back, find the ERSC launcher, hold alt, and drag this to your desktop in order to create a shortcut to it. We can then rename the shortcut Helden Ring Co-op for example. Then you can open this up and play the game with your friends as you hope. But a quick note, you will be starting a brand new game. If you'd like to import an existing save game, at the very top up here, click and select everything, then type in percentage app data percentage slash Elden Ring one word and hit enter. This will open up your Elden Ring folder in C users your username app data roaming Elden Ring. Open the folder over here, which should just be your Steam ID. Then you should find all of your save games in here. Just make sure that you you have view followed by show and both file name extensions and hidden items ticked. On Windows 10, on the ribbon bar at the very top, you'll find view followed by those two tick boxes on the far right. Inside of you, you'll have SL2 files, which are your single player save games, and CO2 files. If you've played the multiplayer mod before, these are your multiplayer saves. Assuming you don't have any multiplayer saves, simply copy your existing save game, so erwhatever.sl2, to your desktop, and we'll be renaming it to remove.sl2, and instead typing in co2 as such. Then confirm and copy it back to your save game folder. Now you've successfully copied your single player characters and save games into a multiplayer save, which we can use in the mod. So let's go ahead and fire up the co-op game in order to get started. So assuming you've imported your save, you should be able to load the game as you hope. I'll do exactly that. Now, just a quick note, the old items in order to allow seamless co-op to work have been removed. And instead, you'll need to find a site of grace that you can sit at in order to get your new items. So heading across to the closest site of grace to wherever you are will rest here and you should be given the new hosting items. There we go. Even if you start a brand new game, you will need to sit at a site of grace in order to get all of these multiplayer items. Now, in order to use them, open up your pause menu, inventory, followed by locating the tiny great pot, which allows us to open our world to multiplayer so we can use this as such. Then we can choose open world to wanderers and our friends should be able to join our server. At any time, you can head back, interact with it again, and you'll be able to lock it to Wanderers or view your current session password. There is another item here, Effigy of Melania, which your friends will use when they get this item. So they'll run across to a site of grace, touch it, get this item, and use it in order to join their friends. When they do, assuming you have the same password as someone else, you'll be dropped into their session. Finally, there's the challenges linchpin, which we can use in order to join another world as a malicious wanderer. So that's really it. Hopefully this video helped you. Thank you for watching, and a special thank you to Superior Emerald for being an ultimate supporter of mine. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.